Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. I could not resist being outside on another beautiful day here in Wellington and have a fun topic to talk about today. I was thinking about all these topics. You guys have sent in so many great topics, which I will be doing. But today I just felt like talking about foods in New Zealand that I think are better than how they're made or produced or grown in the USA. Here we go. So I've spent some time thinking about this and I've come up with quite a list. It looks like I have 12 items that I want to talk about today. And if you don't know me, um, we are a family that have moved to New Zealand from the U.S. and have been here for about six years. And so if you don't know, check out my channel. I talk all about the differences between New Zealand and the U.S. And today we're going to talk about food. Now, I need to put a disclaimer on here. American food is amazing. American variety of food is amazing. Nobody's going to beat America on a burger, on pizza, whether it's New York style, deep dish Chicago style, so many amazing sandwiches, Philly cheesesteak, so many amazing foods in the U.S. Yeah, did not stand a chance really <laughs> uh, compared to a lot of those. But there are some foods in New Zealand that I think are really good. Um, and, so, and in my opinion, better than they are in the U.S. But again, that's just my opinion and my limited experience even with uh, the U.S. food. Because depending on where you live, you have completely different foods and cultures, probably four major different areas of the U.S. that have different food and different cultures. And so I'm just talking about my experience, my thoughts on some of the food that I really, really like here in New Zealand. So if you're traveling here, moving here, definitely check these things out. This is what you have to look forward to. Okay, these are in no particular order, but number one that I want to talk about, chocolate. Let me talk about chocolate. So the chocolate in New Zealand is so good. The Whitaker's chocolate being the best, in my opinion. Uh, Cadbury also very good. Just all the chocolate is good. I don't know what Hershey's is doing, but it has nothing on the chocolate here. So I don't know. I think I've mentioned this in another video, but like every time I go to the US, I bring tons and tons of chocolate to all my friends and family. And last time I was there, I didn't really give it out. Because being in the in the US for like so many weeks at a time, I got really craving the chocolate here. And so I ate a lot of it. I gave some of it out, but I ate a lot. The chocolate, you guys, so good. And um, they don't always have the same combinations of chocolate. New Zealand has figured out chocolate and pineapple going together. Now, I'm sure there's products in the US that have chocolate and pineapple, but chocolate and pineapple, amazing. Number two, Let's talk about scones. New Zealand does scones better. They do. They have savory, they have sweet, they're savory, you guys. Cheese scones, cheese and onion scones, date scones with like, they have like this jam and cream. You toast them, so good. So scones aren't as big of a thing in the US in general, like they have them, like they have probably everything, but New Zealand wins on the scones and they're everywhere and they're freshly made every day and they are so good. Number three, I love a roast and it's one of the staples that I would make in the U.S. But the way that they do a roast in New Zealand is a little bit different than in the U.S. And I really like it here. A couple of things that are different. So typically in a roast, you're either for the meat, you're either going to have the beef, the pork or chicken. Uh, and then they always have multiple vegetables, which I think is a very British thing where they have multiple vegetables um, at a meal. And I love that. So like, you know, because you don't like every vegetable. But then you get to pick the vegetable that you want, or you have a little bit of all of it. Love it. And then the way they do potatoes. Americans are big mashed potato eaters. Here, not as much. Roast potatoes all the time. So I love the roast potatoes. Roast potatoes with the gravy. So good. And then, one time. So I had been here probably a total of almost four years before I ordered a roast at a place. And they said, would you like a Yorkshire pudding? And I was like... Sure, I like pudding. Throw it on. But what they threw on was like this bread, a piece of like hollowed out bread. And you like, they put like uh, gravy in it. And I was like, what? I thought I was getting a dessert. But no, Yorkshire pudding is bread. 
and it's amazing. And I've been making them and I have them at all my roasts. So I'll put a picture of it up here and you'll see it, but like the Yorkshire pudding is so good. And so you have all these vegetables, meat, uh, roasted potatoes, gravy, and a Yorkshire pudding. I think that New Zealand wins in the roast. It's probably my number one favorite food here in New Zealand. Number four, let's talk about sweet potatoes and kumara. So in New Zealand, their sweet potato is called kumara, and it comes in three different like, colors, if you will. There's red, like an orange, and then there's like a white yellow kind of color. And I love the orange ones, it's my favorite one. So it's the most looking like a sweet potato. And I, in the US, really, really tried to like sweet potato. I just didn't. It has a totally different taste than the kumara here. The kumara here, amazing, amazing. In fact, I'll literally just chop it up with some garlic and some onion and roast it and mm, mm, have that for lunch. Kumara is better than the American sweet potatoes, in my opinion. Number five. Now, this might not be a food, but we must talk about how good New Zealand wine is. Even in the U.S., I would drink New Zealand wine. It's kind of known to be the good wine, you know. So the Napa Valley of the U.S., in my opinion, doesn't compare at all. The typical wines that you drink in the U.S., I don't like compared to the ones in New Zealand. Now, I'm not a huge wine drinker. I'm not a wine connoisseur, and I'm sure there's plenty of good wines in the U.S. that I haven't tried. <laughs> but I'm telling you, New Zealand wine win. So good. White, red, rosé, whatever you like. If you haven't tried New Zealand wine, I think they sell it at Trader Joe's. So check it out, or Whole Foods. And it's so good. I don't think you'll be disappointed. In fact, I think they have it at Costco as well. Number six, let's talk about fruit, produce in general. I don't know. I mean, I know that there are interesting practices in produce and producing food in the U.S. And this isn't the video for that. But the produce here in New Zealand is so good. And you eat in season here. And so I'm in summer and so tons of fruits. So good. Like apples. So good. <laughs> Just in general, like I really like the fruit and it's really in everything, you know, I mean, you always have bad pieces of fruit, but sometimes, I mean, if you're eating the fruit and produce in New Zealand in season, you are not going to be disappointed. Fresh and delicious and they have a little bit of a different taste. So like the lemons have a different taste um, than I'm used to. They're, they're not as sour and they're a little bit sweet as well. Uh, the grapefruits have a more of a sweet sour. So really good. I used to live in a house that had a grapefruit tree. Uh, miss that, have that every morning. A lot different than the U.S. one. So good. And number seven, since we're talking about produce, let's, we have to do a shout out to the eggs here. Now I get farm fresh eggs or I buy them from the grocery store. I just, I'm just going to be honest with you. You're not going to be disappointed by any of them. They're very good. Now definitely fresh eggs are better, but in general, you just, the yolks are like the, the full orange and they're just so good and so tasty. I have eggs quite often here in New Zealand. And it's not going to be just a shout out to the eggs in New Zealand. So good. Number eight, don't be mad. I know I say this all the time, coffee. I just had to put on the list. I could have written this. I have to put the coffee because if we're talking about differences in food and beverage or whatever in New Zealand compared to the U.S., you have to talk about the coffee. I don't know what they're drinking in the U.S. This drip coffee that they drink, it does not compare. So the coffee bean, the roasting, the coffee in New Zealand. So it's so interesting to me, like if you want to start a business, I'm constantly seeing new little cafes or new little pop-up coffee shops everywhere. It's like, doesn't get old because people drink a lot of coffee. I mean, a lot of coffee. They drink a lot of wine, they drink a lot of coffee because it's so good. It just doesn't compare. So you are in luck if you like coffee and you're coming to New Zealand. All right, number nine, let's talk about pies. Let's talk about savory pies. New Zealand does savory pies so good. Now, they're not as prevalent in the U.S. Like, we'll have the chicken pot pie is probably the most popular. Um, and then various parts of the state, you'll have more meat pies. But New Zealand wins. When it comes to savory pies, they're so good. So their most popular are, like, mince and cheese, steak and cheese, in this, like, flaky crust. You can buy them everywhere, even in the gas petrol stations. And they're good. New Zealand wins on the savory pies. Uh, does the U.S. win on sweet pies? Um, in my opinion, yes, because that's what I'm used to, because I like the way that the crusts are made in the U.S., but the flaky crusts for the meat pies and the savory pies, and you can get 
you know, those are the two popular ones. You can also get, you know, chicken and like a vegetable one and a and a like a Thai one or an Indian flavored one. Pies, savory pies, New Zealand wins. And number 10, we have to talk about ice cream. Ice cream is highly consumed in New Zealand and it's very good. Now, is it better than the U.S. ice cream? Mm, depends because like U.S. has a custard, which is a little bit different, has more egg in it and there's more soft serve available in the U.S. Ice cream in New Zealand is really good. So what I'm gonna say is some of the ice cream flavors here in New Zealand, so good. So like hokey pokey. Okay, so it, confession, it took me probably four years to actually try that because of the name. To me, it's a dance. It sounds like a child's kind of ice cream and I'm not gonna try it. Uh, guys, it's so good. You know, it's like a honeycomb ice cream and it's so good. You know what else is really good? They have what's called real fruit ice cream here. And you can like, when you're traveling and you see it and you see a sign for that pullover because what they do is they take literally real fruit, throw it in some ice cream and put it in this machine. And it comes out like a soft serve, amazing ice cream. That's my favorite, the real fruit ice cream. So I'm gonna get good ice cream in both places. I don't think we can compare that, but some of the flavors here, I think you're I just really like how they put boysenberry or a lot of berry in their ice cream here is very good, you know, because their fruit is good. And so that makes sense. <laughs> and so, yeah, try some of the different flavors here. Those are some of my highlights. I'm not a huge ice cream eater, but yeah, real fruit, hokey pokey, try it. And number 11. I don't have a specific food for this one, but I think it's worth a mention. Uh, so Indian food is a is probably one of the bigger takeout options here in New Zealand. Uh, where I'm from in the Midwest, it's hard to find Indian. It's there, but it's not as prevalent as it is uh, in New Zealand. And so there's Indian flavors in a lot of foods. So like, we'll just take all your normal foods that you're eating every day and they'll add like an Indian flavor, like I said, like the pies or uh, you know, curries are very popular here. And so I'm just going to say that New Zealand wins on like just the variety and <clears throat> the easy accessibility to Indian food because it's really good here and it's, it's a takeaway everywhere. And if you're not familiar with Indian food or Indian spice, so the, they have figured out flavor. Let's just say that. So they can take vegetarian food and make it the most flavorful, flavorful you've ever had. So go try it. If you've ever had Indian food, try it. Or when you come to New Zealand, definitely get Indian takeout. And number 12, last but not least, I just had to say this, the butter here. Can we just talk about New Zealand butter? Now, I used to actually, I know I can get it at Trader Joe's in the US, so probably other places as well, but butter. Dairy food in general is really good. The milk, the butter, the creams, so good. So if you have a chance to try New Zealand butter, I highly recommend it. It's very, very good. So good. If I just want to say a shout out, since we're talking about food, the kiwi pavlova. It is one of the most amazing desserts I've ever had. And actually, as a side note, I do um, are a New Zealander and you're here in New Zealand and want to try some American foods that are really good. I do have an American recipe book, which I'll link below. If you want to check out how to do it. And I've adjusted to all the Zealand measurements and ingredients that I think work best to make American food. So check that out if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed the video this week. Comment below and let me know what uh, your favorite foods in New Zealand are and maybe some that I've missed that I've tried. If I didn't mention a New Zealand food, I probably don't think it's better than what the U.S. has to offer, but let's chat about it. So thanks for watching this week and I'll see you next week.